people feel like it's impossible to even get a real legit job. Then you have the older generation calling the younger generations, whether it's Gen Z, the millennials, calling them lazy because they're still living with their parents' house. Never mind the fact that they are stuck with up to six figures in student loan debt. Why? Because in most cases, it was their parents who told them they needed to go to college and get a degree. Now, most of them did what their parents told them to do, told them they were going to secure a good job, that they were going to be set for life, and it turned out to be a lie for a lot of people. So if you were unfortunate and did not receive an internship, and that internship did not turn into a job offer, welcome to the club. Now you're part of a group of people who need, desperately need experience. And you might have projects, you might have built up a portfolio, built up your online presence, you did all the networking, you did what everyone said you're supposed to do. But now you have a company saying, oh no, you need to have five years of experience and you need to have all this hands-on technology or the latest thing. But how are you going to get that without the experience? Now you're being labeled as someone who is unmotivated, as someone who's lazy, when in fact you've been working, you've been trying to do everything you're supposed to do, we're told. Now you see what's happening with the economy. All these tech layoffs, people are not hiring, AI is replacing a lot of the jobs, or the jobs are being outsourced. So is it that there's no jobs or is it that there are jobs, but those companies are outsourcing them and looking for any way possible to not have to pay people a living wage? It's not that people don't want to work. People don't want to work and feel like they are being taken advantage of. They go in, they're told to do the work of multiple people because the company doesn't want to hire and they don't want to promote you either. So you are doing multiple jobs. You're not even getting a raise if you are lucky you. And then you're told, well, maybe when you retire, you have your golden years to look forward to. Have you seen what people are going through of that generation? The senior citizens, the boomers, they're struggling. They're either struggling with their health or they're struggling financially. They're not having the time of their lives. Even if they have the money, now they can barely get out of their lazy boy and have enough strength in their back to even do anything, let alone run around on vacation. So now what? Is it that people don't want to work? You can, some people might say, yes, it's true. I don't want to work because I don't want to be a slave. I don't want to be under somebody else's rule. I'd rather be an entrepreneur. I'd rather freelance. I'd rather dictate the rules in terms of my own destiny. I think that there's more to life than just working for someone else while they underpay me, don't show me any appreciation, don't promote me. So you know what? I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to read books. I'm going to work projects. You know what? Maybe I will learn to code, but I'm learning to code for me. I'm going to turn my skills into something that I can employ myself. I can start a business and maybe I can employ other people while I'm at it. People are changing the rules. They see that careers are dead. And you know what? Instead of being scared by that statement, they're using it to empower themselves by seeing the economy for what it is. If you want to call it facing the facts, and waking up and smelling the coffee, then so be it. But people are seeing the collapse of the nine to five jobs. So now what are we gonna do? I think we should use this information to realize that it's time for us to dictate and to carve a new way for ourselves. I'm still employed. I work in the government sector. Some people say the government sector is a safer way to go. There's less risk of layoffs. That might be true. Between that 
in healthcare, depending on your title, you can look into that sector or you can look into freelance. There are people who are picking up skills in design and digital marketing, even if they are looking at data science, software development, or cybersecurity. What people are starting to do now is figuring out how can they turn these skills into something that they can start their own business and maybe that might be the solution for you. Maybe not. Maybe you're still a hopeless romantic and think you can find just that one company that will actually stand by their word and take care of their employees and give you your raise and give you your promotion and give you a good amount of time off so that you don't have to feel bad about wanting to spend time with your friends and family because you want to take a few days off. Maybe there's still hope for that. But for those of you who are just looking for resources because you're sick and tired of feeling like you're looking everywhere, there are companies hiring, but you can't even find them now because you have all these fake jobs, ghost jobs, and companies that are just trying to market themselves, sponsoring their content so that you can't even find them. So I'm saying all this to say, there is some truth to this, but the context matters. I hope to present as much information that I can to you based on my own experience and research. Having come from a non-technical background, stuck in a broke retail situation, I was also intimidated by the tech sector and I helped myself back from learning more. So I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want you to feel stuck or unmotivated. If you want to learn how to leverage tech and AI, to actually level up your career, find these hidden jobs, level up your skills, know what's in demand near you so that you can actually find jobs near you and find legitimate remote online jobs, then stay with me, sound off in the comments. What do you really think is happening here? Do people just not wanna work? Do you feel like one of those people? Are you just tired of the lies or is there something else to be said?